Hello, Scorpio. Let's see what that is. Mm, somebody's turning down gifts. Um, it's Malay from Malay's Way Tear, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of 9-11 through 18-2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. Okay, so somebody is dealing with the ex. So maybe an ex is trying to come back and offer gifts. Or maybe an ex is just trying to come back as like being sneaky. But personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, check your sun, moon, rising signs. So let's go. All right. So... Ooh, ooh, ooh. It seems like some of you guys are going to find a secret, find out why somebody left you in the past. The secret is getting ready to come out, okay? All right, what's going on? What's going on? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Love reading, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Love reading, Scorpio, love reading. Alright, so somebody has developed some burdens this week. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, somebody might have found out that somebody is cheating on them. Somebody has a third-party situation going on. Wow. Okay, so, the burden is... Somebody has been cheating on you. They got a third party and they've been treating you like they've been cheating on you because they, they don't give you the attention that you want. They don't get you the attention that you need. This could be vice versa too. This could be happening to you. I mean, you could be doing this to somebody else. Wow. Okay, so it seems like here that your friends might know about these situ this situation or the third party is one of your friends. Okay. I don't know why Leo just popped up in my head, but maybe for some of you, it might be a Leo. All right, so this is that X card to me. So it could be somebody's ex. So maybe if y'all was like friends and you was dating one and then you end up dating the other one. Yeah, they, they're dating the other one now. So let's see what this unseen event, what is this unseen event for the Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio? Mm. Yeah, the unseen event is basically you starting to realize stuff that, I mean, yes, yeah, you starting to realize stuff you didn't see anymore uh, at first, like the little subtle signs of people cheating, sleeping, sleeping around. Now you're starting to realize it for what it is. All right, so I guess this is going to create some baggage, yeah, because you got uh, the partner that's going back and forth between you and your friend, and you and your friend still going to act like friends after this. You know, yeah, that, that, that definitely um, have some baggage connected to it. All right, let's see what's going on. Mm. Yeah, so secrets are getting ready to be revealed. So, yeah, it's basically saying just keep going and you'll get your answer. Like, whatever you're looking for, the answer is about to come out for it. All right, what's going on for the Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio love reading for 9-11 through 9-18-2017. Oh, jeez. That was a lot. All right, so. Ooh. All right, for some of you guys. Somebody definitely got some kind of fire sign pregnant, okay? Uh, could be an Aries, I don't know, but this or just somebody starting a new beginning with a, uh, a fire sign, I'm going to say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or maybe they got them pregnant. All right, what is this? Yeah, so somebody's... Picking up and leaving. All right. So let's go. What's going on for Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio. 9 11 through 18, 2017. Scorpio, 9 11 through 18, 2017. Ten of Cups. So, ooh. I don't know. For some of you, this stuff didn't happen yet. And for others of you, it seemed like somebody got you all like in love with them and then they just dipped out in the, in the middle of the night like uh just gone all right 
Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Mm, justice. Yeah, so this makes me feel like this. if this is happening to you, I feel like everything is going to balance out. Everything this, uh, this is wrong will be righted. Yeah, so it seems like there might be some kind of separation from this sit this person. Of course, I mean it's only right. Mm. I think it's after somebody might just dip out in the middle of the night and I feel like it's gonna be like nasty text messages being sent back and forth. Text messages, email, I feel like people gonna be blasting people on the internet all the time. But I feel like it's going to take a, a couple of days after the separation, though. Because I don't think, uh, I mean, if this is you getting ready to leave because of the third party, I don't think they know you're going to stay gone this time. And once they know that you're for sure leaving, it's, it's uh, internet time. Yeah, so, ooh, I don't know if you're leaving or they leaving. But somebody is definitely leaving to be with the other party. Yep, so as soon as y'all separate, somebody is going to go back and be with that third-party situation, okay? Mm. All right, so judgment. Mm -mm -mm. You guys may end up in court. I mean, it could be about harassment, though, like internet bullying or something like that, or it could just be... um. I mean, it could be like a divorce or something. Maybe roommates leaving before the lease up, something like that. All right, so let's go. We got the justice card first. Archento. Okay, give me a second, babe. All right, so we have justice. Jeez, I can't find it. Okay, okay. All right, so we got justice, isn't it? Right side up. A decision will be made. Justice will be served. Uh, you must look at all information before a decision is reached. You may face legal action. It is time the debts will be paid. So it's basically like if you did something wrong, you don't have to pay for it. If something wrong was done to you, you they have to pay for it. So now we got the two of staffs, and it, it says... Um, take time to reflect upon your choices before making a decision. Consider where you are and how the past relates. So it's like, basically, like, just think of everything that happened to you. Get your information together because it's about to go down. That's basically what it's saying. All right. And then we got the eight reversed, uh, envy, internal struggle, and guilty conscience. So this makes me feel like... That's what these messages are going to be about. They're going to be mad. they mad because there's third party in there. I think that's why it might end up in court. I don't know. But uh, three of staffs. Three of staffs. All right. So a uh, positive and complete into a issue that plagued your emotions. So it's basically like, yeah, you're feeling bad about this situation, but it will be over soon. All right. Now we got the judgment card. Judgment, judgment. All right. Uh, sometimes there are illegal judgments or sentences and final decisions. So it's like, mm, yeah, it's some, it might end up in court if this is a divorce or, I mean, I, it's some kind of legal thing. But, I mean, since this is your reading, I feel like it, it, it's going to be going your favor. But if you're the predator, it's not going in your favor. But the prey... The prey is going to win in this situation, okay? All right, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rise signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Um, Make sure you guys are praying for the people affected by the um hurricanes and stuff that's going on down south. Um, Yeah, and I think it's the west, south and west, but... Make sure you, well, can, if you can, pray for them. If not, find somewhere to donate to them. You know, uh, that's all 
I can ask for. All right, other than that, you guys have a wonderful week.